Hey guys, Preju here. In this video, I want to talk about uh, a news which I recently received this morning, and that is that Anima 5 is now available. And uh, let's uh, go through what is new in this uh, new version of Anima, and then we're going to jump into Figma and uh, actually try this out. So as you can see with the new update, uh, they're saying that they're bringing truly functional material design in Figma and Adobe XD. So this is really cool. And by the way, for those of you who don't know what uh, is Anima, Anima is a design to code platform that lets designers create fully responsive prototypes that look uh, and work exactly like the finished product, uh, but all basically easing the handoff to the developers by automatically translating the design to developer friendly code. So this is Anima in a nutshell. And uh, as you can see, basically what they did here is something which I'm really looking forward to. And uh, that is to actually have uh, uh, real material design uh, um, elements and uh, you can actually work uh, in Anima uh, inside of them and literally just drag and drop them into your canvas. So from here you can not only build uh, these uh, quick uh, um, elements and widgets uh, but uh, the really cool thing about Anima is that uh, it's uh, all code based. So essentially what they're saying here is that this is not just uh, design elements like the ones that you would find in uh, any UI kit but uh, after that, you can actually uh, export the code. So this is really looking for. I'm really looking forward to this. And uh, yeah, I think uh, without uh, further ado, let's jump uh, right uh, into uh, the video. We're going to use uh, this uh, iOS kit, which uh, I created uh, some time ago. And uh, basically in order to have uh, access to Anima, uh, as you can see it, uh, it's over here. But if you don't find it, uh, simply go under the Plugins Manager, uh, search for Anima, click on Plugins, and uh, you're going to find it right here. Just click on Install, and uh, you're going to have it. So let's go back uh, into the actual file. What we're going to do is we're going to click uh, here on uh, this icon, then on Anima. And uh, as you can see, the widgets library, this one is uh, the new feature. Now, on top of that, uh, I heard that they also added uh, effects. So you know, things like parallax, uh, hover effects, uh, entrance animation, GIFs, uh, Lottis, and uh, more. Now, I'm not sure because I, I know that they already had uh, quite a bit of those effects. I think they did the upgrades. But uh, the feature that I wanted to check out here is uh, essentially the widget library. And uh, as you can see, there's material design, there's Google Maps, uh, and uh, also Bootstrap, which uh, is coming soon. And this I'm also looking forward to it. So let's go under material design and uh, let's uh, try and click on the first element, which uh, of course is a button. Let's go over here. And uh, as you can see, you can uh, essentially create uh, different button types, uh, select them and uh, change the label. And uh, everything is going to be updated right here. Now I'm also seeing uh, uh, different elements such as the, you know, the icon, if you have an icon or things like that. So this is pretty cool. And uh, now I assume I simply uh, drag and drop this into the file and I'm seeing this loader which uh, essentially tells me that uh, uh, the element is uh, uh, being loaded. So this is pretty cool. Um, I guess uh, I have a bunch more elements and uh, probably more are going to come along the lines. Uh, this is something that they just released. So I'm sure that uh, yeah, years along the line, this is going to be uh, expanded and improved upon. So really looking forward to any updates that uh, they have coming on when it comes to these elements. And um, yeah, overall, I think uh, this is heading in a good direction and uh, I would recommend you to check it out. And for those of you who haven't checked out my previous videos of uh, Anima, um, I have some uh, more extensive videos showing uh, the entire uh, basics of Anima. So if you're interested in uh, learning more about that, definitely check it out. Now I'm going to have a look at this uh, Google Maps integration since this is another thing which you always want to have, or at least uh, you often um, have in the designs. 
maybe like a Google Maps, uh, you know, website or, you know, some, some sort of like map element. So definitely something that uh, you're looking forward to. Um, let's uh, see if this one is working in real time. Uh, for whatever reason, it's not, it's not updating. Maybe it's my RAM. Um, I, I have my Mac, which is full, so should have probably <laughs> done that before the video. But definitely check it out. Uh, Anima 5 uh, is live and available for everyone. And I uh, really hope you enjoyed this video. And again, if you want to learn more about Anima, uh, feel free to check out my previous videos. You know, my channel, I have over 500 videos on UI UX design, sharing my decade of experience. Uh, and uh, essentially uh, everything that uh, you could think of from soft tutorials to theory to life advice. So feel free to check it out if you're interested in that and I'll see you in the next video.